rolling. Hi, would you please state your name for us? Hi, my name is Curtis Johnson. And um, would you please tell us a little bit about your professional history? Yes, I'm a retiree. I work for the Forest Service. I live in Mesa, Arizona. I worked for the Forest Service for 42 years. I worked at all levels of the Forest Service, from the national level, regional level, on the national forest, and at, on the ranger district level. On the national level, I helped write, oh, most of the time I was working in, in, in range management, which has the responsibility for the Wild Horse and Burrow Program. On the national level, I uh, worked on a team that uh, wrote the Forest Service policy for the Wild Horse and Burrow Program. It was published in 2003. And uh, in the, at the regional level, I was range staff for the Intermountain Region of the Forest Service, and we had responsibility for the Wild Horse and Burrow Program that included uh, Eastern California, all of Nevada, which has most of the national, most of the wild horses in the United States. Also included Utah, Wyoming, and Idaho. And On the local level, here, I worked on the Mesa Ranger District on the Tano National Forest and also the Cave Creek Ranger District on the Tano National Forest as range staff. And while I was range staff on the Mesa Ranger District, I worked there from 1966 to 1969. And there was a wild horse herd around the Red Mountain area and along the Salt River. They were not considered unauthorized use, they were considered wild horses that we managed under the Multiple Use Sustained Yield Act. And why I say they were, they were not unauthorized use, because we had a heavy program trying to get livestock grazing under control on the Mesa District in, in the mid-60s. So the horses are on the Sunflower allotment, or the or the uh, Circle Bar Ranch, and the, uh, during the 1960s they had a permit for 100 or 1,000 head of cows, and when we counted them, we counted 2,000 head of cows. So they had a thousand head of unauthorized use. And when we gathered them, we left the horses, the the wild horses that were around Red Mountain and the, the Salt River alone because they weren't unauthorized use at that time. So that's very interesting. So you said that they were managing them under which act? The Multiple Use Sustained Yield Act, I think it was 1964 when that was passed. And they were not considered unauthorized use at that time. Mm -hmm. And so you helped write the Forest Service Directive, correct? Yes, I did. And so in the Forest Service Directive, um, would you state where you see room for managing wild horses? Yeah, so the horses that are currently there can be managed either under a territory or the policy plus the 1971 law allows for us to manage the, it says, any wild free roaming horse is managed under the Secretary of Agriculture who is given the responsibility to the Forest Service. It doesn't say that there has to be a, a, a territory, but if we managed them under a territory, I think they would be recognized that then the Forest Service could get a, some budget under the Wild Horse and Burrow line item to help manage the horses along the Salt River, plus uh, it would help fund some of the fa safety features that are needed today. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And um, that sentence that you showed me um, in the Forest Service Directive that says, um, to the extent where possible, can you explain it, it, us a little it, more about that? Yes, yeah, so the, the policy says that uh, to manage wild horses under territories to the extent possible. Well, horses leave leave territories. We still have the responsibility to manage them just by drawing, 
by drawing a line on the map doesn't mean the horses belong inside the uh, territory. They, they're going to cross the, the hill. So, uh, you know, we still have to manage them whether they're in a territory or, or not. Mm -hmm. To the extent possible. To the extent possible. Very good, very good. Well, we, we really appreciate your testimony. Um, is there anything else that you would like to say? Uh, no. Would you like the wild horses to stay? Yes, I would. All right.